All right, let's do question three. So a tourist drags his luggage of mass, 20 kilogram, with a force at a constant velocity across the floor. The coefficient of kinetic friction is given, which is 0.4. The luggage is then dragged 0.8 meter along the floor. And then you have to find the uh, work done by the normal force as well as the by the, uh, the force lab. Okay? Right, so let's do, firstly, we have to draw a free body diagram. Why? Because now, this is at an angle. This force here is at an angle, 37 degree lah. Okay, so let's do that. Um, we have weight. And then we have this force here. And then we have a normal force. This is still considered as one lurus macam ni ya, because the luggage, the point yang in contact is here. Okay, so it starts like this. This is the normal force. This is our weight. And then since the movement is dragging on the floor, the kinetic friction would be on the surface here, going against the motion lah. Okay, so we have this F F. Okay. Uh, so this is basically our free body diagram. Hey, what's happening? Okay. Okay. So let me write this down. This is the D7 degree. This is force. This is the weight. This is the normal force and this is the frictional force. Okay. All right. Now we can go on to solving the problem. So firstly, we know that work done is equal to force S cos theta. Or untuk soalan, uh, I mean that is the general equation lah kan. So for the first question, it is going to be using N S cos theta. Okay, however, we do not have the value of N. So how do we find that is by using... Chapter, chapter berapa tu? Chapter, chapter 4 punya uh, equation tu. Yang ada Newton's law of motion. Okay? So, if we look at the y component, which is y component here, there is no movement going up and down. So, we can then let total force at y to be equal to 0. Okay? So, there's no acceleration going across this y component here. Okay? So, uh, N minus Mg plus F sine 37 degree lah. Okay. So, we have this. We let this equal to 0. Then, we can find the value of N. So, we let N equal to Mg minus F sine 37 degree. However, we do not have the value of f, okay? So, if we do not have a value of f, we cannot solve the equation, we have to create another equation. So, how do we create that? We are be, we will be looking at the x component. Lah. So, total force at x. Let's see. Is there movement? Yes, it does have movement, but it is moving at a constant velocity. So, if an object is moving at a constant velocity, the acceleration will equal to zero. Okay? So, we can then let the x component, total forces at the x component to be equal to zero lah. Okay? Okay. Now, let's look at the x component. We have force uh, cos 37 degree minus the frictional force. What else? That's basically it, right? Yes. So, equal to uh, zero. Okay? So, now we are looking for the value of F here. Okay? So, what do we do? We let F to be the subject. And then, we rearrange this. So, we have plus F, F. Wait. Okay. Okay, let me redo that. Confused. I am confused to be honest. So we have F cos 37 degree to be equal to the frictional force. And then we know that the frictional force is equal to mu k 
n. So if we rearrange that, we'll get cos 37 degree di bawah. So this is, wait, this is ugly. Let me redo that. F, F, uh, mu, K, N, over cos 37 degree. Okay? Okay, now this is equation number 2. Okay? So from here, we can then substitute pula. We substitute the value of f into number 1. So, subs 2 into 1. So, we have n equal to mg minus cos 37 degree mu k n. Okay? So, we have n equal to mg minus mu k n 1 over cos 37 degree okay so I'll rearrange that you'll then get um, n to be equal to 1 minus 1 plus good job what let me put here lah. so we done let substitute 2 into 1 can just now so we have n equal to mg minus f which is mu k n over cos 37 degree the tinggal sign plot that it sign 37 degree so we have n mg minus mu k n sine over cos is tangent so this is tangent 37 degree and then if we were to rearrange this we have n mu k n tangent 37 degree equal to mg so this one i simplify it 1 plus mu k tangent 37 degree equal to mg so, this is n equal to 1 plus mu k tangent 37 degree over, this is mg. Okay, so I do it this way because some of you ask me how to rearrange in order for us to get the value of n ataupun uh, the value of f. So, I think that's just basically your maths so if you have problem doing the uh, doing the rearrangement, I think you have to Jenna, you have to do I guess you have to do more exercises lah in terms of that. Okay? Wait, let me find N. What is N? M is M is 29.81 and MG MG over 1 plus mu is Actually, jawapan nomor satu tu zero aja tau, tapi it's okay. We are practicing chapter four. Point four, lepas tu, mg mu k tangent 37, tangent 37 degree. So, you should be getting the value of n to be equal to 150, yes, 150 newton. So, you'll get the normal force to be equal to 150 Newton okay okay and then you substitute and into equation into equation 2 I think yes 2 so F is equal to mu k n mu k n over cos 37 degree okay so mu k is 0.4 N is 150 over cos 37 degree. So, you'll then get the force pula to be equal to around 75.5 Newton. Let me double check. 0.4 times 150 divided by cos 37 degree. You were Okay. That's kind of far. Let me just write... Uh, um, 
it should be 75.1 newton okay so after you get the values you can you then can solve the problem so work done on the luggage by the normal force if we see this we know that the the um the displacement is going to the right okay if we look at this if we put the normal force here this is normal force this is displacement the angle between the normal force and the displacement is 90 degree so what does an angle of 90 degree means it means that the work done by the normal force should be equal to zero joules okay so fs no n s cos theta so i'm just gonna write zero joule paham kan kenapa dia zero joule it's because the angle between the normal force and the displacement is equal to zero so that's why kita akan dapat zero joule okay lepas tu second question work done by the force the external force so f s cos theta Okay, so the force yang kita dapat is 75.1 displacement is 3. Point, eh no is it was it 0.8 i think it's 0.8 let me check yes it is 0.8 meter and then times with the angle cos proper angle there if we put the force here this is the force the angle is 37 degree to the displacement okay so the angle is done 37 degree so you should be getting let me calculate 0.8 times cos 37 degree you should be getting around 48 joules 48 joules all right so that is how you solve question for chapter 4 and chapter 5 okay so it's always a combination of those two usually now always i think right so this is question number three